Right now is the head of the year, a good time for reflection. Time to think about who we are and where we lack perfection. Grab an apple and some honey for a sweet new year. It's Rosh Hashanah, just in case that wasn't quite clear. Rosh Hashanah, isn't that the holiday where we build a sort of hut? No, that's Sukkot, where we celebrate the harvest. But you know what? Rosh Hashanah is the Jewish New Year and starts the month of Tishrei. We blow a shofar at and hear what rabbis have to say. People come from all over just to pray with you and me. Rosh Hashanah, it's a pretty good holiday. Is this the one where we fast? No, if we did, I wouldn't last. Do we have a big meal where there might be liver? Yeah, and we throw our sins into a river. It's Rosh Hashanah, a pretty good and fun holiday. But what exactly does it mean? Well, Rosh is head, or so it seems, and Ha is the in Hebrew, and Shana is year. Oh, so it really is the head of the year. We say a prayer and into the water we throw some crumbs of bread. We do this in the hopes that in the next year we won't be dead. We try to be better people in the year to come. You and me, repentance. Now that's my idea of fun. What about if you accidentally always eat pork, or if you stabbed an ex with a fork, or maybe spoke some Lashon Hara, or unhooked some girl's bra, wanting something from another, wanting to do something to someone's mother, or any other possible sin that you could have gotten yourself in, doesn't matter, because it's Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah. It's on this holiday God expects something from us Jews. It's just a few days to change our ways. There's nothing really to lose. So dip your apple in some honey and let's all pray to God, you and me, on Rosh Hashanah. Everyone's doing it so it won't feel all